We've been supporters of the American Heart Association for quite a while, but in 2008 I had the opportunity to chair the Heart Walk for the greater Omaha community. And it was at that time I really started to learn about the research and all the work and the education that the American Heart Association engages people in. I worked in a hospital for about 25 years and I know how scared people are when they come in with a serious problem. And when that happens to you, you want somebody that can tell you what the best options are and what your prognosis is, and that's all based on research. Then in 2016 and 17, uh, it came front and center for us when uh, our friends Wendy and Jason told us about their pregnancy and then shortly thereafter that their little boy was going to be born with hypoplastic left heart syndrome. And uh, all of a sudden, all of that research and all of that focus really came home to roost for us. Wendy and Jason are really extended family, so we call Abel our emergency backup grandson. <laughs> and we have a happy little boy now that's growing and looks so great. It's been fun seeing him grow up and to see how they've rallied around him and all the things they have to do um, to keep him going. It's, it's amazing. Everybody that you know is affected by this, and you can see the impact. I kind of think about it both from a personal point of view and then from a broader perspective. Uh, our personal focus is on Abel, mm -hmm. and at some point, he may have to have another heart transplant. But there's research and there's development that's taking place that could help his heart grow and so that at some point in time he may avoid that. That's kind of the close up and personal thing for us. But on a broader perspective, there are lots of Abels out there. There are lots of people that have had severe heart attacks and, and severe health issues as a result of that. And I guess when you think about the future, continued funding and research, the heartfelt dream would be that nobody would ever have to go through this again. When you come down to making real systemic change, we've seen impact from the American Heart Association, and that's a good reason to support this one. Through the years as we've attended both the Heart Ball and also the Heart Walk, we've run into so many of our friends, so many people that are here in the room tonight that um, have had heart issues or had family members that have been affected by it. And so all of us being here can really make a difference. We can change the course of this disease, we can change the course of positive outcomes for people going forward. It makes a huge difference and we can't say thank you enough. Mm -hmm.